It's game time. We have to have some fun, right? <laughs> yeah. It's game time. I don't know what this is, but and I know that I know that that you're competitive. I'm yeah. sure. Are, are you guys competitive? Are you hoping to win the game? See, yes. Here's the thing. I think yes. That, yes. Like we're we're all kind of like gentle progressives. Okay. But deep down, I'm gonna fucking crush. We want to win. Yes. We want to win. I <laughs> wish that I could like compete, but I know all the answers, so that doesn't count. So yeah. it's a very simple game. It's called Spot the Vegan, and we okay. will show you pictures of different really well-known vegans. That you're you're spotting two right now. It's Here's one as well. Up. Yeah. <laughs> and so we'll show you uh, a, a, an image of three different very well-known vegans, and then we'll play a number of different rounds. You have to spot the vegan, and there's a number of celebrities and well-known people out there that have adopted a plant-based diet for a variety of reasons. But I think a lot of people out there don't know that they are vegan. And maybe you all well, don't know either. Because also there's okay. that fear. I a know. lot of public figures are like, oh, I don't want to hurt my public figure right. status. And from my perspective, the only good use of public figure status mm. is trying to make the world a better place. Yeah. Like, yeah, you you influenced me. You influenced me to I, go vegetarian years ago. I just you think, and Ian Mackay. Okay, so shall we look at? Let's play the very first round. So uh, we have presidents. Okay, so we have Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush. This one's pretty easy. Bill Clinton, right? I mean, we're yeah. yeah. This is how we. This let's is how we, let's read a quote right, yeah. from Bill Clinton <laughs> as to why he went vegan. So Bill says, quote, I stopped eating meat, cheese, milk, even fish, no dairy at all. I just decided that I was a high risk person and I didn't want to fool with this anymore. And I wanted to live to be a grandfather. So I decided to pick the mm -hmm. diet that I thought would maximize my chances of long term survival. All right, mm -hmm. let's go to the next category. These are female artists. We've got Ariana Grande, Megan Trainer, or Rihanna. Which Ariana one is Grande. the vegan? Ariana Grande. Dang, Ariana Grande, I wonder yeah. if they're, if I, hopefully the viewers at home are, are, are stumped. But I tried like... to get Rihanna though. I went to Rihanna you at the did. concert and I said, hey, I, you know, trying to, she said, okay, what do you want to talk about? I said, um, I hear you don't eat green. She goes, I eat, I'm eating salad. I'm getting better. She's getting better. She's getting better. So I'm trying to, because my yeah, my daughter loves her. I want, I want the princess, queen, whatever y'all want to call her, yeah. mm -hmm. to live forever. Yes. And keep that sexy going. Keep yeah. keep telling her. I know you, I you tried yeah. to influence Michelle Obama too. I try to influence everyone. Yes. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yes. um, let me read you Ariana's <laughs> quote. Ariana says, I love animals more than I love most people. Not kidding. But I'm a firm believer in eating a full plant-based whole food diet that can expand your life length and make you an all-around happier person. I was raised on meat and cheese, so I've had enough for anyone's <laughs> normal life span. All right, the next category we have directors. So we have James Cameron. Okay, James, oh James Cameron, Spike Lee, Quentin Tarantino. You guys have already guessed. Right. Yeah. James Cameron, the winner is James, James Cameron. Cameron. Let's read his quote. He says, it's not a requirement to eat animals. We just choose to do it. So it becomes a moral choice and one that is having a huge impact on the planet, using up resources and destroying the biosphere. We'll do one more category. This is a Game of, the, a game of Thrones category. Peter so, Dinklage. Yeah. No! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have Peter Dinklage, Amelia Clark, or Kit Harrington. Our panel is too good. The winner is... And yes. Moby's right. Peter Dinklage, he says, quote, I like animals, all animals. I wouldn't hurt a cat or a dog or a chicken or a cow, and I wouldn't ask someone else to hurt them for me. This is why I am vegetarian. Wow. Uh, so that's it for us today. I'm so grateful that all of you have been able to share your experiences, and I'm just so well, in debt to all of you for your you activism. For doing this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Part two mission. and part three. We yes. could go on and on and on. We <laughs> should go on and on. Yeah, and on. we didn't get to on. touch upon, you know, wool and 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 down feathers well, and there's so there, much uh, so much animal cruelty out there that we weren't able to talk about but it's I think especially encouraging because like as I said I've been a vegan for 29 years and a very progressive left-wing Democrat for a very long time and it's been so frustrating in the environmental community in the progressive political community how blind people are to the consequences of animal agriculture and what I would say to anybody I'm looking at the camera because that's a professional mm -hmm. thing to do right <laughs> is what choices can you make that are actually in keeping with your values you know we need to make choices that are accordance in accordance with our values amen amen and in the meantime you can go to mercyforanimals.org a lot of information i know your website too has a lot yeah. of information for a plant-based diet mostly everything for mercy for animals <laughs> yeah hey moby your new album speaks to that your yeah. new album yeah. which comes out october 14th it speaks just to that which i think is phenomenal and i would like to encourage people not to pay for it but rather give money to mercy for animals that's incredible like steal the record you give see money how, to how incredible these people are and then i also did want he promote to... pirating just now he just yeah, said steal my <laughs> <laughs> pirate just, music 
music, give money to charity. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then also the Circle V Festival. So yes. again, October 23rd, go to circlev.com to get your tickets. And we're going to leave you. Yes, I, I'm going to be there. I can't yes. wait. And we're going to leave you with a really heartwarming video. This is a new video from The Gentle Barn. No one has seen it. And they have a lot of followers. If you go on their social media, they have a ton of followers. They're always excited to see these new uh, touching videos. And we have their very newest of the videos. Um, it's an exclusive, so we're gonna leave you with that. And thank you again to The Gentle Barn as well. So there's a moment where the baby comes out. She still hasn't taken her first breath. And they lay very, very still and quiet until the mom starts licking them and clearing them. And then the baby will start to move a little bit. She immediately wants to put all her energy and all her love and all her focus on that baby to make sure the baby's healthy and strong and loved and they get to bond on each other. About 45 minutes after she was born, she's already going forward onto her knees trying to stand up, which is amazing. And then there's this period where they try to stand, but they're very, very wobbly, so they keep standing and falling down, or taking a step and then falling down. And they have to figure out um, where to nurse from. And that process takes forever. And the mom is begging for it. Maybelle was making these little mooing sounds to the baby, like, come on, come on and nurse. But the baby's gotta figure out where it is. And so it feels like that moment takes forever. But then finally, she found it and she latched on for the first time and she was able to suckle for a nice long time, get her belly full. We wanted this bonding moment to be really special for Maybell because she has experienced all her babies being taken away over the course of her lifetime as a dairy cow. This is the first baby that she's ever had that will never be taken away from her.